We're a year and a half into the pandemic, and so far, only 60% of Texans are fully vaccinated, according to DSHS. And looking at the percentage here in Brazos County, it's lower, with only 50% of residents being fully vaccinated. So to help continue the push to get more people fully vaccinated, local clinics are offering walk-up and drive-up vaccine clinics on the weekends to make the vaccine more available. News 3's Donnie Tuggle spoke to clinic officials and learned about how they're working to reach the vaccine hesitant. Kawana Johnson came to the Health Point Clinic in Bryan on Saturday to get her second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. She says she got the vaccine because she wanted to do everything she could to stay out of the hospital. In this new strain, I mean, it's taking people out at like record speed. Helping build the community's trust with the vaccine is Nancy D. Pascal, the communications director for Health Point. The goal is really community health and making sure that we get as many people here in the Brazos Valley vaccinated to prevent negative outcomes from COVID. And that trust in the vaccine is growing. In Johnson's case, her pre-existing conditions and medications kept her from getting the shot sooner, but now she's fully vaccinated. I talked to my doctor and she was like, it's okay to take it. Just, you know, let them know, you know, that you have, you know, issues with uh, medications and they'll watch you even closer. Pascal says hesitation like this has been common, but now more people are trusting the vaccine. There was, there was a lot of hesitation in the beginning, but I think now that people have seen their friends, family members and coworkers get vaccinated, they're much more encouraged and much more likely. They know people who've been vaccinated. They've seen good outcomes from that vaccine. And Brian, Donnie Tuggle, News 3. And if you're looking to get a vaccine, Health Point will be having a vaccination tent set up tomorrow at Radio Alegria Celebration from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. in downtown Bryan. They'll have all three vaccines available with first and second doses.